Sometime about 8,000 years ago, a virus infected a wild sweet potato and inserted some foreign genes, and it made the sweet potato grow bigger and faster. Ancient people noticed this and used the mutant potato to cultivate bigger and better varieties. Every variety of modern sweet potato now contains this foreign DNA and it proved to be very important in the domestication. In another example, psychedelic mushrooms probably evolved their trippy chemicals by stealing and inserting DNA from other mushrooms around them that had figured out a way to mimic proteins from the insects that attacked them. If it made its own version of these brain chemicals, then bugs and hippies that ate it would have their brains scrambled. But you actually don't even need to go that far to see examples of genetic engineering. Actually, you yourself are already heavily genetic engineered. Almost 20% of all of your DNA is just leftover pieces of viruses that inserted completely random genes into your ancestors for millions of years.